This video tutorial is about how to fix iPhone Access Max restart on every 3-4 minutes. The freaking problem that random crashes and reboots, boot loops. This problem actually shows in that cases. After dropped for sleep, cases on water damage, after LCD replacement, after back glass replacement, such problem appears. You just see the iPhone reboot that bootloops have many reason. On that case is everything seems to work fine like battery charging, touch works, camera works, receiving text, make call, all are age normal. If you face that issues, don't restore your iPhone, otherwise you got a problem. I saw various solution on that cases. Some says that force restart, update iOS also cannot fix it. iPhone keeps rebooting. What went wrong? If you cannot find the solution, this video tutorial helps you to fix that issues. On this video, I will explain the reason for iPhone keeps rebooting itself. Is that a version update error or hardware issues? So, I will show you a detailed information and solution that helps you on to fix your problems by easy ways. First, you need to understand that what is the cause and possible reason for that problem? You just see the iPhone reboot. In my cell phone repair experience, that fault was not from iOS issues, that is hardware issues. When the iPhone is dropped or water damaged, a hardware component failure like charging flex, air speaker flex, power flex, sometimes. LCD also can make such issues. You just see the iPhone reboot.
let's find out the solution this problem is one of the worst problem that can be seen on iPhone X access and access max random crisis and boot loops you just see the iPhone reboot that boot loops have many region charging flex this is also the one of the cause for that issues this is not only charging flex this flex include microphone ringer and vibrator too any issues on that section makes reboot iphone ear speaker flex this flex is also one of the cause that making this problem this flex is not only for ear speaker it includes flood illuminator proximity sensor too that play vital role on face id power switch flex this flex may also cause that issues that include flashlight and microphone where i2c line is connected frame with oem i also face that issues on old oem frame the iphone restart even without connect all flex except lcd and touch the iphone keeps reboot but on other frame with oem the iphone works like normal so ensure that you have other on good frame with oem wireless charging flex this flex is also one of the cause for that issues on which volume keys and nfc included so you have any issues on that you got a boot loop on your iPhone XS and XS Max. You can also check by seeing the analytic data. Let's follow the procedure. Go to setting, privacy, scroll down and tap on analytic and improvements. Analytic data, scroll down and search panic pool. Panic string, panic CPU one color, OX address, user space was duck timeout, no successful checkings from com.apple, thermal monitored, since load and service, written not alive with context, is alive, function written unhealthy, current missing sensor, hence some problem or Thermal monitor sensor is missing or sorting. iPhone X, Access and Access Max are some design problem on iPhone with battery connector and wireless charging connector are same size and near to if you put battery on wireless charging connector the positive voltage goes to i2c circuit and short on the section makes such issues that cause cpu source in my cases that happen on iPhone with battery connector and wireless charging connector are same size and near to. If you put battery on wireless charging connector, the positive voltage goes to I2C circuit and short on the section makes such issues.
So, unknowingly, if someone insert battery on a wireless charging connector, such issue happen in Access and Access Max series. My problem is not fixed. So, be sure that while replace battery, care for that. So, I quit this. In my cases, that is CPU shorting.